Hey there tech enthusiasts, welcome back to our channel. Today we have something exciting to talk about. The Samsung One UI 6 Beta 2 is now out. We've been eagerly awaiting to get our hands on it, so now we have it, let's dive in. Before we jump into the details, make sure you're subscribed and hit the bell notification so you don't miss any of our tech updates. One of the first things you'll notice with One UI 6 Beta 2 is the new redesign of Samsung Health. The Samsung Health app now has bolder fonts and brighter colors making it easier for users to see the most important data to them. If we go ahead and go into our Samsung Health, uh, you can see the new improvements with the bolder fonts, as they mentioned, uh, as well as brighter colors. The colors are a bit brighter. Uh, and we can scroll through here and take a look and see if there is any new information. Um, looks like everything is pretty much the same to me. Uh, but Samsung does uh, note that this has been improved. Uh, they also mentioned something about being able to adjust the uh, water cup sizes, uh, which we'll take a look at. Samsung has also introduced a new video editor. You are able to make video projects on the go as well as more enhanced editing tools. To access this, you can simply go into Go into our gallery and we'll hit the little hamburger icon and now we can go to studio and we can start a new project. Uh, you can see I have one here so if we start new we can go ahead and select that video that we were editing. So let's go ahead and select this, select done and now we have a pretty much a full editing suite uh, for editing on the go. If we press the plus here, we can do a blank clip. We can add an image to the video. Down here we have our, where we can add text to our video if we want to do that. Uh, we have the sticker icons. We can add background music or um, turn on or off uh, the recorded audio. And so now we can see here's our new project that we started. We can go in here at any point, do our editing. So let's say we just want to come in here and we can splice. We can start from new. So let's go ahead and put a splice here and we'll go ahead and delete that. So now once we're done, we can save our movie. And so this is going to export our movie. A very nice feature added by Samsung that is essentially baked in uh, to the gallery application and gives us the ability for creating projects on the go and then also enhancing uh, mobile editing tools. If we go to settings and you're one of those people that accidentally swipes and changes cameras, you now have the ability to go into settings and we can now turn off swipe up and down to switch cameras. And if we go back, you can see that the swipe is now disabled. To turn that back on, just simply go back into your settings and scroll down to the swipe up and down. And we can turn that back on. And now we can swipe up and down to change our cameras. So let's talk a little bit about performance. One UI 6 Beta 2 promises to be faster and more responsive. In our testing, apps load quicker and multitasking feels smoother. It's clear that Samsung is focusing on optimizing the user experience. One of the next features that's been added is the combination of the trash bin. So our My Files and Gallery app now share the same trash bin. What that means is if we're in our My Files, for instance, 
we can scroll down here to trash and now we can see everything from our my files and our gallery in one location and easily delete it so if we wanted to empty that we could go ahead and delete that and that would empty the trash for both of our my files and our gallery another feature that's been added which i spoke about in my z fold 4 update to uh, one ui 5.1.1 is the two-handed drag and drop. So with One UI 6 Beta 2, we now have the ability, if we go into, say, our Samsung calendar, let's go ahead and go to, oops, go to our calendar app. We can easily press and hold and now move our event anywhere within the calendar we can also swipe and go to a different location if we need to and as you can see we've now moved also with the two-handed drag and drop this works for applications so if we wanted to say move this application here we can go ahead and press and hold and use our second hand to swipe and move to another screen. One of the standout features that I have not heard many reviewers talk about is the ability to send user feedback. Samsung now in all of their betas, you are able to go in and send feedback on issues that you may experience within the beta. In order to do this, you go into your Samsung Members app. And once that opens up, if you are a part of the beta, you now have beta feedback here. There's beta notices, beta community. So we can go in here and we can send error reports while we're testing this out directly to Samsung so that they can fix any of the issues. They can put it on a bug list. Uh, so this is very helpful uh, and I really appreciate this from Samsung. What this means is that you have a voice in shaping the final release and Samsung is actively listening to its users. And as we've seen from beta 1 to beta 2 there have been some changes uh, in just those two updates. One change that I will note that unfortunately did not get changed is the music player app. Uh, we unfortunately do not have the new uh, version showing. We still have to um, swipe down twice and it looks like also if we go to our lock screen that the uh, music player when we have that playing, let me just go ahead and play that real quick. So if we have that playing and we go to our lock screen, it looks like we actually don't have that new player showing like we did in beta one. Uh, so hopefully Samsung is going to fix that because um, that was something that was kind of cool to be able to see this new player. Please remember that this is a beta release so you need to expect some bugs. If you're comfortable with that and want to explore the new features, consider joining the beta program. Thanks for joining us on this journey through Samsung One UI 6 Beta 2. Stay tuned for more tech updates and let us know in the comments what you think of this beta release and if you're currently using Beta 1 or Beta 2 on your Samsung Galaxy S23. Thanks for watching.